If you click this video, you're probably interested. Mem.ai is the right note-taking app for you. I personally use Mem every single day since August last year, so almost 14 months. I've also created over 4,000 notes. So in this video, I will give you my honest opinion about Mem.ai, the seven things which I believe are truly fantastic, and also four drawbacks which I believe can be improved as soon as possible. I also give my honest rating and discuss whether it's the best app for you. And this video will primarily be about the web version and the iOS app because I don't use the desktop version, but I know that many people do. There is no Android app at the moment. So if you're an Android user, you have two options. Either go and use the web version on the phone. You can go to whatever browser that you use or simply use another note-taking app. With that said though, let's go over the seven things I like about Mem. The first thing you will find out is that it does not have any folders. The only thing you will see is a timeline where the recently viewed or created notes shows up. Why do I believe it's a good thing, you might ask? Because of this, there is no need for any folders for note-taking apps. If you have a note-taking system based on folders, you have to consciously decide each time where each new note needs to be placed. And if you repeat the same effort, but for thousand notes, it becomes intolerable for most people. With men, you do not need to organize at all, which is why they market themselves self-organizing. With the timeline, you can scroll down and find the notes you created in order. If you're looking for a specific note, you can search for it. Unlike other note-taking apps, Mem's search bar is extremely fast and can be easily accessed by the mouse or pressing Ctrl K. The development team has done a very good job there. Thanks to its amazing ability to search and browse through all options, you do not even need tabs. All you need to do is type whatever word a note contains and it will show up beautifully. You can also favorite notes you check very often on the sidebar. In the settings, you can enable what is called a daily mem. At a specific time every day, a note will be automatically created with today's date and hashtag. This is a huge benefit because now you have one place every day where you can dump everything you ever think of and all the information you get into. It becomes like a journal where you can write down the ideas and insights and every piece of information. And in my experience, once you know that you have one trusted place to put everything in. Creativity and ideas just flow through the roof. It's very fantastic. But make no mistake, it's still extremely easy to create notes in Mem. On the timeline view, you can simply type and it will create a note. Even within the Mem itself, it's easy to create headlines by typing hashtags and other formatting like bolding, italics, underlines, drive through, bullet points, task brackets, and many more. Mem.ai has pioneered the concept of network thoughts and bi-directional links as a replacement for standard folders, something that reflects how very associative brings. We do not categorize memories in boxes, but can evoke whatever thought comes up simply by stimuli and that reminds me of so-and-so. Aside from searching after notes, you can link notes together by typing the plus sign and the name of the note. Mem.ai also launched MemX, which is a $10 per month AI-powered functionality to recommend similar notes. Think of it as a YouTube algorithm who tries to predict what you're watching and want to watch next, so it presents some valuable options on the sidebar and suggests them on the homepage. And speaking of the algorithm, be sure to click the like button down there so YouTube can recommend this video to similar people like you. When it comes to MemX, I personally have not used it yet, so I cannot tell you anything at the moment, whether it's good or worth the price, but I am going to test it for one week and then I'll make a follow-up video on this one. Aside from the daily mem, mem.ai has other automatic features. First, you have templates that allow you to create pre-formatted notes incredibly fast. You can also integrate mem to the calendar, see all your calendar events on the timeline, and even create notes specific for that event. You can save tweets by mentioning mem.ai and type memit. You can also forward emails to mem via the address save at mem.ai. Finally, you can text mem via SMS, WhatsApp, and Telegram 
Let's do some other cool automations to see this is accurate. Mem.ai has a very cool random note generator, which you can access by typing surprise me. This has two benefits. First, it can spark a lot of creativity. You can see everything from notes from a week ago to years ago and draw some unique associations. Secondly, it can be used to end social media addictions. Our brains love novel stimuli and social media has kind of hijacked that tendency for many people. But just like many smokers use milder options in order to get rid of their addictions, you can get the same dopamine or sort of similar by simply looking at your own notes from a very random basis. And especially if you have over 500 or 1000, even over 2000, maybe 4000 notes, there could be a lot of treasure hunting and things that you didn't even know was there, but suddenly spark that dopamine inside of you. The last benefit is not native for the app per se, but something I wanted to include anyway. When I received access to Mem in August last year, I was invited to this Slack channel with like-minded people, which you can find here in the description. In there, you can get early announcements, submit bugs, suggest upcoming features, and most of all, connect with friends. Still today, the developers have been very great responding to different comments, different threads, even messages and also maintaining the community as a whole. I even met one of the co-founders there in order to tell my experience and feedback with the application, which was very cool to be honest. And if any of you in the MEM team are watching this right now, I just want to say thank you so much. This extra touch of human connection is extremely important actually and makes you stand out from other note-taking apps. There are plenty more benefits such as inbox, the task view, and group feature, and also Mem Spotlight, and which I encourage you to try it out. But let's go over the things that can be improved. Most of them will be about the iOS app, which is still in beta, so keep that in mind. But 95% of my usage of Mem.ai is on mobile, because I'm more often on mobile than on computer. These drawbacks I'm going to tell you are still very painful for me at the moment. But if they fix these, as soon as the video comes out and later, I will update in the description so you can check out there if they're still relevant, these drawbacks. Ever since the app was released in October 2021, it's still quite unstable. It can take a while to do certain actions like creating notes, switching between different notes and searching. The cursor disappears behind the virtual keyboard and you cannot see what you write. It happens at the end of each note when it reaches a certain size. And I was told that the bug would be fixed one month ago, but it's still there. All the functionality exists on the phone. The start mem does not show up immediately and only about one hour later it registers. I'm personally a big fan of progressive summarization, which you apply layers of highlights to the most important pieces of the text. There is currently no direct way to highlight in MEM. There is a workaround in which you comment on certain text and there's a tiny yellow tint, but it's too much work in practice. So these were the four main drawbacks. I will also appreciate dark mode on the web version and offline mode of the app, but I understand if it takes time. So at the moment, these four is what should be the priorities. MEM.ai is still very new in the market of note-taking apps and also under rapid development. I've personally seen all the upgrades for the past month and a good feeling that they will continue to innovate and fix the drawbacks as they come. So for me, the web version is absolutely perfect. It's easy, intuitive, fast, and most of all, self-organizing. I don't think about Mem.ai at all when I use it, which is perfect. It should be like electricity, which it still works and you don't even think about it at all because it works. 10 out of 10 right there. And but for the iOS app, it's a different story. It has the same capabilities, sort of, but with the drawbacks I just mentioned. Because of them, I mainly use Apple Notes on mobile and copy over to Mem.ai each night, since I cannot stand lag at all when doing my daily activities. But this hybrid solution works for me at the moment, and because it's in beta, I want to be kind here and put 6 out of 10. But if any of you from Mem are watching this, 
I would really appreciate if you could fix this form. So the question remains, is Mem.ai the right note-taking app for you? If you don't want to waste time but want to have it as easy as possible, definitely yes. And for mobile, I recommend that you use other apps together with Mem, such as maybe Apple Notes or Google Tasks, in order to get the best of each one's world. If you like tables, boards, Kanbans, databases and other technical aspects, I think Notion would be a better fit for you, and Notion is very popular. If you're like me, prefer it very simple, but still want some powerful effects in order to make it as efficient as possible doing what you do best, Mem.ai is perfect. But the most important thing is not the app itself, it's how and how often you use it. You want a note-taking system that takes little effort as possible and frees you from overwhelm altogether. This is where effortless note-taking it's a method that helps you tremendously in managing high workload, creating a lot, and not needing to worry about mental health at all. Yes, seriously. If you want to learn more about this transformative habit, you can check out this video right here, and I'll see you there.